Hi friends, my name is Alina Shotsova, I'm an immigration attorney from New York. In today's video, we will be discussing how to receive a green card, who can receive a green card in the United States if they enter the United States without inspection. If this is your first time, join me, please. I'm a practicing attorney for 15 years. I help people in New York, in all 50 states in the United States and overseas. If you need to contact me, please call my office 917-885-3261 or you can also book your appointment online using my website shaltsova.com. And by the way, on my website, there is tons of useful information, advice, consultation, however you want to call it, blog, that helps you to understand the United States immigration laws and provides you with updates with regard to the most recent immigration developments. So let's start. that typically if you are looking to receive a green card in the United States, you have to have legal entry. Well, it is so because 245 Immigration Nationality Act states that to receive a green card or adjustment of status in the United States, you have to prove that you were inspected and admitted or paroled. But this is true only for adjustment of status. There are other ways to legalize in the United States that do not require that this particular requirement should be met. And sometimes, even if you are filing for adjustment of status, you do not have to show that you have this legal entry. You were inspected or admitted, which happens when you cross the border using a visa, or you were paroled when you use a parole to enter the United States. What are those ways? Well, the first one, of course, will be VAWA adjustment of status. Violence Against Women Act is reserved for those who can show that they were abused, battered, mistreated by a U.S. citizen spouse or parent. Very important. Spouse or parent. Lawful permanent residents, if they are abusing their spouses, spouse of such a lawful permanent resident also can qualify for VAWA. But in case of spouses, you will have to show that you guys had a real marriage. The law, because you are a victim, allows you to file for adjustment of status without showing that you entered the United States with inspection or admission or you were paroled. So that's number one. Number two, asylum. Of course, one of the most common ways people who cross the border, all those people that you see who come into the United States without documents and you're very upset about, they will be trying to get legal in the United States using asylum. Asylum is a humanitarian protection for somebody who is unable or unwilling to return to their home country because of the fear of persecution or because of the past persecution. So asylum. Again, you do not have to show that you entered the United States legally. 245I exception. That's another way somebody can get adjustment of status in the United States, but they have to pay a fine and meet other requirements. And only in that case, they will be relieved. They will not have to show that they entered the United States with inspection or admission or parole, 245I exception. However, this law is quite old and it's not for everyone, unless usually you are a derivative. By now, you probably would have legalized already using this particular law provision. Now, we're going to enter some interesting area. This is area of non-immigrant status that can be given to somebody in the United States, even if they do not have, do not have lawful entry. U visa for victims of crimes in the United States and T visa for victims of human victims of human trafficking in the United States. So to receive this too, you do not have to show that you were inspected or admitted or paroled. Very interesting. But technically, they're not a green card. They are non-immigrant status. They will lead to a green card after you are in the status for a specific number of years. But that's a big difference. But it's possible to legalize through this route even if you do not 
have lawful entry. And finally, we're going to the last one, but that one you are not filing for with USCIS. This is a cancellation of removal, cancellation of removal, regular cancellation of removal, or cancellation of removal for VAWA. Again, VAWA cancellation of removal for victims of abuse. In this particular situation, you have to file for relief, but only with the judge. You also have to show that you spent in the United States legally 10 years, very important. Legally means that your 10 years is not in legal status you spend those years, but those years were not interrupted by a stop time rule. Stop time rule triggers when you were served with the proper notice to appear or order to show cause. Stop time rule triggers when you committed certain crimes in the United States. So technically, you may encounter a person who's been here for 20 years but cannot file for cancellation of removal because of the stop time rule. Also, for cancellation of removal, you have to have a qualifying relative, parent, spouse, or child who are U.S. citizen or lawful permanent residents who will suffer extreme hardship in case of your removal. And on top of that, you also have to show that you're a person of good moral character and deserve this cancellation or removal relief. But again, for cancellation of removal, you don't have to show that you entered the United States legally. And I said, finally, well, there is one more thing you can file for if you do not have legal entry. This is SIG, Special Immigrant Juvenile Status. But this is only for children who are under 21 who can show that they were abandoned, abused, neglected by one or both parents. So you see, now you know that there are exceptions to the general rule. And for those who do not meet these exceptions, consider if you qualify I-601A waiver. And I have a video about this here. But maybe I will write a new one. Well, thank you very much for watching. Join me for more interesting videos on the United States immigration, and I hope to see you soon.